Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. We are in day 19 of the Turkey Diaries. Uh, forgive the hammering in the background if you can hear it. I'm pretty sure my husband likes his new deck. <laughs> so does the dog. We all do. Um, this is the background I was working on for today. And I had already told you yesterday, if you didn't catch that, go watch it. Um, that today we're talking about washing our china. Yeah. It's really boring today. So I was trying to figure out how I could spice it up a little bit. And I didn't, my go-to plan was going to be to cut out plates out of Daphne's diary. Because I'm sure there's always some kind of food and things going on there. And I could cut out plates. But then I saw this lady on Instagram. You know, Instagram. She had done these beautiful circles I'm not sure what the medium was, whether it was acrylic ink or uh, acrylic, and then she added watercolor to it, or acrylic ink, and then she added more acrylic ink. I'm not sure. But there were these gorgeous circles, and then she added, like, an edge to them. They were, they were beautiful. I'm like, well, I'm an artist. I can do that. Yeah, right. But, so I just stuck my book outside in the sun next to the husband and the dog, and trying to get some of this acrylic paint dried. Now it's not all the way dry, which may or may not be working in my favor, but I have decided I'm gonna to try to replicate something with, like what that lady did. I'm sure I'm not using the any of the same materials. It's okay. It's circles, AKA China dinner plates, right? Right. So this has turned out to be a fave again. I think if you free yourself and let yourself be free, it's amazing what happens. And I know I'm not the only person that says this. I know real artists say this all the time. Sometimes you have to, you know, just kind of do a mashup of anything and, and not think at all, except here I am thinking a tad just by using cool colors and trying to stay within the boundaries of the circle. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so pretty when it's dry, in my opinion. Um, I'm sure a real technique person, my sister-in-law, who is a real artist and very highly trained, uh, would think this is just horrible. But she is one for letting loose and experimenting. So maybe she wouldn't, I don't know. But that one that I just finished happens to be the best one because the one color is bleeding into the other colors, which is what I was, the look I was trying to go for. Um, and the water, the acrylic underneath is dry enough that I'm not picking it up with the watercolors. Um, but I am using a lot of water to tr try to make it spread a little bit. But the subtleness, the colors, the sun is shining as bright as I've ever seen it, practically. I don't know if all of that is what it is. Um, I may have had some chocolate. That might be part of it. Um, everything is jiving with this page. I don't know. It's just gorgeous. We already know circles have my heart. And I don't think my heart is heart-shaped. I think it's circle-shaped. <laughs> Four chambers, circle-shaped. Aren't there four chambers in your heart? I think maybe, I don't know. I don't remember biology from way back when. It's probably changed since then, anyhow. Anyhow, so I love this. Okay, I'm probably gonna cut this off because there's construction in front of us, next to us, and behind us. So I'm, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of voiceover or a whole lot of talking. This is my net new favorite thing. This is gorgeous it is all very subtle and abstract and I love this it's a take a little bit on the Allie Edwards green circles and things that I've been doing for a long time but oh my gosh I saw somebody was it Instagram Pinterest Instagram I don't know some this morning or yesterday I don't know it's been a fog who stamped it looked like ink of an outline of a circle and then she faded it all in with watercolors or maybe more acrylic ink I'm not sure 
I'm not sure if this applies. Don't try to do it and say that this is what I told you to do because I don't know. But it was a, an effect along this idea. and But she had more of a blended line with watercolor or whatever it was. More of this was happening. Not quite the contrast in the colors, but more of that was happening. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Does it look like paint splattered on a porcelain china factory floor? That's what it's going to be. That's drippings of, what do they call the paint in china painting? Is it paint? It's more, anyhow, it has to go through firing processes and all that. Anyhow, this is gorgeous. I'm going to read you my journaling. If I, well... I have been lucky enough to tour many factories and special artisans over my years. My favorite by far is watching or visiting porcelain painters, an art form over 2,000 years old with China being the home of it all. Did you know Renoir was a China painter in his youth, which had lasting effects on future masterpieces? Yes, true. Fashionable young ladies used to be required to paint part of their training in ladylike pursuits in order to catch a reputable spouse. Pattern borders, gold geometrics, and bouquets of flowers. I love them all. This year, I chose my white leaf collection with its iconic Tiffany motif. All must be hand washed and dried, then protected from dust until we are ready to use. That's going to go here, and I'm going to paint another one here. And put that somewhere. I might just tip it in the center. I think I will tip this in the center somehow. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet since I've already got all this stuff going here. But, oh, love this. And it's not all the way dry. The acrylic is not all the way dry. But I'm going to put it outside in the sun and it will be. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow.